A blessed Palm Sunday to everyone. Indeed, as we have journeyed during this uh, five Sundays of Lent, we come to this bridgeway as we look forward to the celebration of Easter. Alam po natin na for 40 days, and we will still continue that 40 days in the first part of uh, this week, we have been given the opportunity to engage in prayer, fasting, in almsgiving. The disciplines of Lent that started in Ash Wednesday when these old palm branches became ashes that were blessed. Now this Palm Sunday, fresh palms were blessed as we once again contemplate on how Jesus entered Jerusalem. Maganda nga hong isipin yung simbolo ng palaspas. Mga palaspas na nalanta nung isang taon na ilagay sa ating noo na nabindisyonan ngayon po sariwang sariwa. But that is also a powerful challenge for us to make afresh our Christian life as this holy season of Lent was actually designed to make sure that this Paschal mystery of Christ would deeply be contemplated on. I'm sure you are fond of teleseries. Alam niyo tayo mga Pinoy, napakahilig dyan. Eh ngayon, ang inain din ay mga K-drama. Di po ba? Hindi ko alam kung anong paborito niyong K-drama o yung ongoing ngayon. But, you and I know teleseries, K-dramas, whatever series tell us of love stories. And we are fun of romantic love stories. But mind you, this Holy Week, what we are invited to contemplate on is this love story between God and us. This love story that is beyond Romance. What do I mean? If I will characterize how God showed His love to us, we will see here in the life of Jesus three types of love. The first one is obedient love. We heard in our second reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, how God in Jesus Christ obeyed His Father from the incarnation up to the fulfillment of His mission for our salvation. Though He was in the form of God, Jesus, as we all know, stripped Himself of that being God. He made this kenosis by being man. And not only by being man, by being, not only by being a human being, but being a servant for us. A servant who in the end was obedient until death, death on a cross. Kaya nga, makikita po natin 
lalo na ngayong Semana Santa. Remember, this movement to Jerusalem was given a prelude also when we know what happened to Jesus as He was agonizing there in the Mount of Olives. He was like sweating blood. And then, He was trying to tell His Father, Father, can this cup pass me by? But Your will be done. He followed God's will, His Father's will. Ganun niya kamahal, hindi lang ang kanyang ama sa langit, kundi pati tayo para tuparin ang misyon ng ating kaligtasan. The second type of love is compassionate love. Palm Sunday is also called Passion Sunday. That's why this week, we will contemplate on the Lord's Passion. He's suffering His death and resurrection. And look at that suffering and death. The Lord went into excruciating pains. He suffered from different types of tortures. But He did it out of love. Narinig po natin yan. Alam niyo maraming version ng Gospels from Matthew, Mark, Luke, even in John. The Gospel of John, we will contemplate on Good Friday. As He underwent those suffering, realize that He showed His compassion for those suffering before Him. And not only during His time, but even now. Marami tayong dinadaan ng mga pasakit, hindi po ba? Sa inyong pamilya, may mga dinadaanan din po kayong suffering. Personal, may dinadaanan din po kayong suffering. Baka meron po kayong sakit na talagang nagdudulot sa inyo, hindi lang ng physical, but also emotional and spiritual pain. No! that the compassion of Jesus is there because compassionate love is Jesus suffering with us. And of course, finally, sacrificial love. We heard that. Alam nyo, tuwing Passion Sunday tsaka Good Friday tsaka lang nagaganap Itong dramatic reading of the gospel, hindi lang yung obispo o pari ang nagpo-proclaim. To make us feel the sacrifice of Christ. When I was hearing, crucify Him, let Him be crucified. When I was hearing, instead of me being released or Christ in my representation, Barabbas was chosen. And as he was hanging on that cross, hanging on that cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You could imagine the sacrifice of Christ physically and the spiritual pain he underwent before people whom He loved, but jeered, mocked, insulted, and killed Him. He made that sacrifice for all of us. Kaya nga sabi sa Gospel of John, di ba, no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Ang tawag kay Christ ay vicarious sufferer kasi wala naman siyang kasalanan. Pero nagsakripisyo siya para sa ating lahat. 
how will you spend your holy week knowing these three loves of Christ his obedient love to the cross his compassionate love for our own pains and sufferings his sacrificial love for our salvation i hope it is not simply going into a vacation week but having a vacation with the lord participate in our own holy week services and look forward to the glory of easter because the promise of christ has been fulfilled and continues to be fulfilled when he said that on the third day he will rise again brothers and sisters in the lord if we will contemplate on god's love story this holy week may that love story have an impact in your life so that you too will share the obedient the compassionate and the sacrificial love of christ to one another amen